Hi betting experts, on Tuesday the 8th of December, first of all look back at our two bets at Plumpton on Monday and we stay in Sussex on Tuesday but head down to Fontwell where the ground is on the softer side of good. The forecast is dry, things will just be tacky around there, not too swamp-like. We start off with our value angle selection in the 105. This is the thank you to the Siswood team handicap chase, two mile three furlongs, class four, four year olds and upwards, eight runners, 4,289 pounds on offer to the winner. Most of them have loads to prove coming into here, either badly out of form um, or uh, struggling for any kind of form, in fact, or on, on the back of a bad effort in the instance of the brothers and Sky Full of Stars, who've both got loads to prove. And I thought it was worth taking a chance on Charlie Mann's Rob Adden. Now, this one is completely unexposed, comes from Ireland, um, has had four runs for Charlie Mann, been reasonably strong in the market on each occasion, starting off in a fair year tox to novice hurdle last November when finishing a close up fourth. Um, again, well backed, second favourite of market raisin, but only fourth behind Dundrum Wood, a bit disappointing there. Then switched to fences, and I thought ran an absolute blinder when second behind Hill 16 at Sedgefield on the 10th of January. Now, the winner has since been an absolute revelation this season for Nigel Twist and Davies, having left Sue Smith. Perhaps it's not right to take that reading of that form too literally, but nonetheless, Hill 16 is now winning races off about two stone higher uh, than he ran off at Sedgefield. Uh, you have to excuse a lesser effort at Huntingdon when a remote fifth behind in Richmond on very heavy ground that day, um, ridden by today's claimer. I think he made a noise because the tongue tie is now added. He's been off for 292 days. Um, this better ground will definitely suit him. And, if he can reproduce his second on chase debut is an absolute certainty here. I think he'll take a lot of beating. Charlie Mann does well at Fontwell and he's won from six with his runners in the last 14 days. For our nap of the day, we go to the opening 12.35. This is the rather aptly named One More for the Moors, Juvenile Hurdle. Two mile two, class four, three-year-olds only. Seven runners. It looks a match up the front of the market behind, between Hacker Des Places, if you'll pardon my French, and Paul Nichols. And Gary Moore's very impressive course and distance winner, Nassalem, and I much prefer Nassalem. Now, Hacker de Places was sent off 9-4 to four on for his UK debut at Canton on good ground, but he looked extremely limited against a horse, a stable mate, in fact, who'd shown absolutely nothing first time out and bolted past him like he was standing still. Now, maybe he needed the run, but he was sent off 9-4 to four on that day. He had a soft lead. I thought he was very disappointing. He could be a completely different proposition on softer ground with the run under his belt. Plenty of nickels is do improve for the run. But for me, Nassalam was one of the most impressive winners of the season on his UK hurdling debut. He did have experience of one run at Clairefontaine in France for Macaire. Um, he was a well-backed even money favourite that day. Very heavy ground. He jumped well and he absolutely powered past Shentry like he was standing still as they came off the all-weather turns, winning, in fact, by 59 lengths. Now, the runner-up has since been beaten, but not disgraced at market raisin since. It wasn't a wonderful race, but Nassalam could only win. He handles soft ground really well, and I'll be disappointed if he's beaten. Best of luck on Tuesday, betting experts.